Here's a stopwatch on the Mac. So this works on the MacBook Pro or Mac Air. We've also got timers. So the stopwatch starts by counting up from zero. A timer counts down and sets, sets off an alarm. So let's just have a look at how to set both of these up. So first of all, you go into the clock program. You've got the world clock here. We have alarms as well. But what we're focused on here in this video is the stopwatch. Now we have some options here. I'll just reset it back to zero. When you start the stopwatch, uh, if you are doing repeat cycles of something, then you can just click the lap button. And you can see that uh, the lap button captures the time as well as the total time uh, of so the total time for each lap and then the total time that you've been running you can always stop it there so that is the stopwatch and you've got a couple of options here if you want to move it around uh, that's easy to do you can just drag it uh, you can resize it once again you go into window and you've got the options here to resize so you can play around with that now this one bring all to front is if you open another app, then this will minimize and minimize. And so we want to bring it all to front. We'll keep it there on the, on the front. Now you can't reduce the size of this stopwatch very much. So you may want to look at other options on the web for stopwatches, but this one comes native with the Mac. Oh, one other thing to show you on the stopwatch is that you can change it if we go to view we can change it from a digital stopwatch to an analog stopwatch so you go into view and analog so let's have a look at that and if you prefer the analog stopwatch that's what you've got there okay let's have a look at timers or click on here on the tab you can set it in hours minutes and get down to seconds if you want so we might set a timer for 10 minutes time you can give it a name I want to turn off the oven and you get to choose uh, the sound that you want it okay there's a sample there now to start this you've got to scroll down here so we just click on start and the moment you do that it starts the countdown which is really good now if you want to pause the timer you can do that I just need to take my food out of the oven, stir it up a little bit, and then I'll put it back in again, and uh, and then you can resume. Now, a nice easy shortcut is you've got some presets, so that way if you don't want to enter it manually, you can just say what your timer is going to be set to, go to five minutes, and then off we go. There's five minutes there, okay? Uh, wow, it shows you your recent timers as well just does uh, just hit that uh, play button to keep it running or you can pause or you can stop it all together okay and delete it there we go the timers and for the stopwatch we've seen that already on uh, the clock app so both of those are available on the clock app on mac on the macbook or mac air